All right, so I'm walking to the boat and it looks like the conditions today are very similar to what they were yesterday. Got a southwest wind, 10 to 15 miles per hour, which I really like for crabbing. You know, anything, as long as it doesn't have east and north in it, makes me happy, you know? <laughs> Generally, trying to seem to do a little bit better. So, okay, I talked before about when the tide's coming in, it'll actually push your lines, not necessarily into shallower water because the tide is coming in, but it'll push them towards shore in relation to where your anchors and your buoys are positioned. So what it'll do when the tide's going out, it'll actually pull your line away from shore into deeper water. You know, I'm doing the little thing when I'm saying deeper because as it's pulling your line away from shore geographically, it's the tide's going out. So it's kind of keeping your line in the same depth of water you know just depend on how you run them and how you look at it all right i'm underway and i'm out on the water the wind is a lot worse out here than i was thinking and hoping for it's not good even all early like this not good all right so first round all my lines only caught four freaking crabs so the other day that ended up doing pretty good you know everything's an hour later today so it kind of makes sense with the low tide you know sinking with that and the bite but you know that one day i did pretty gosh darn good and i had a really bad first round so hopefully that's what happens today and this bait this is the second day running this bait too so, go ahead and try and get a couple more Okay, so some of the worst, most serious freaking cuts I've ever got crabbing happened when I grab a crab similar to this one and just real quick glancing, say you're on a whole bunch of crabs, you're just running through real quick. I mean, I can generally look at them and see how hard they are. And looking at this one, it looks like it could be a little bit light. So you freaking grab the son of a gun and squeeze it and you're freaking, it's hard as a rock. And your finger slips on these hairs right here and goes up and you cut the crap out of yourself right there. Like really freaking bad. Like you just real quick squeeze hard and it slips and psh, really mess yourself up right there. I mean like this crab, I mean the freaking, the healthy good crabs aren't gonna have a whole bunch of grit on them because they've been moving around. And you got to think these things swim through freaking sandpaper. They swim in liquid sandpaper, like in sand and stuff. So that, you know, the ones that are active and moving around and healthy, <clears throat> they'll be rock hard, but they're not, and not have a whole bunch of black on them either. You know, like the underside and stuff, because it, it polishes itself, because it's active, a good crab moving around. So I, I guess people don't know that or something. I, people are tripped. I mean, it just is not happening. I've been around a couple times and so far, I've got a freaking piece of junk that I'm saving and I don't even have a half basket of good ones yet. So I'll go ahead and film this round. You know, hopefully the, uh, the sun just started hitting the water, you know, came out from behind some clouds. So hopefully that uh, mixed with everything being an hour later today, this run should do okay, hopefully. We'll see. All right, hopefully things turn around now. It's freaking 6.30. Yesterday, right now, I about had a basket. I don't even have half a basket today.
picked up a tiny bit that time. All right, it's seven o'clock. I'm trying to get that bushel filled right there. Not having a bushel by nine is, or by seven is not good. I just saw a couple indicators that it's getting, this line should pick up. Wasn't even a nice one. That was horrible. All right, so last time, this one surprised the heck out of me. Hopefully it does that again. Whole last line did that. And those three crabs I just called at the beginning of this were. He's better. I 
I don't know why the heck this line's doing anything. It's crazy. One of my first trips this year, freaking two baby deer in the road, on this back road, and I had to slam on my brakes with the boat trailer on there, and it freaking, um, the boat slammed into this metal thing, and it totally tore up my bottom. So I gotta fix that. All right, so it's 8.30, and I mean, I've just been picking at them and picking at them. I've got uh, a bunch of my line already in the boat here. I'm getting ready to go ahead and yank up my long line and my short one. I ended up with about a basket and a real pretty crabs, but not enough of them all together. Those are my good ones. Those are my ones I don't like that much. You know, I don't know if I called them all up here or what. You know, I don't know. I mean, I have no excuses today because the wind's perfect. The tides were all perfect. You know, there's a there was some boat traffic, but you know, it wasn't that. I they're just not here, pretty much. Like. I think I just called them all up yesterday. The little bit that was here, and, you know, this, the, these lays you just you can't put a whole lot of pressure on them. And you know, I put a lot of pressure on them yesterday. So freaking basket, <laughs> freaking sucks. But what are you gonna do? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.